For regular high quality algo trading content, hit the like and follow. Hi, welcome to the extended version of the video about Portfolio Master Module in Strategy Quant X. I will start with a full settings tab and go through all the options. Here is the first one. Search for portfolio using brute force or genetic search. Within genetic search, you can set the population size and generations, the percentage of out of sample and in sample, or select the option to restart if fitness of in sample stagnates for some value. In this video, I'm going to work with the second option and that is brute force. In the next section, I will define the source and target data banks. At the bottom, you see two data banks, simple strategies, where you upload the strategies you've created in build or a custom project. So simply click the load button and select the strategies you want to create portfolios from. That's source data bank. The second data bank is results in which you will see the completed portfolios. That's target data bank. At the same time, you will see a slight selected only button. You use this when you want to create a portfolio only from selected strategies that you check in the Simple Strategies data bank. Now, you select the minimum and maximum number of strategies in a portfolio and also how many portfolios should be stored in the results data bank at most. For this number, please always keep in mind the performance of your computer. Rank Portfolio by allows you to rank the resulting portfolios according to the available values. And then there is Sector Selection. This is useful when you want to have a specific number of strategies from a specific market in your portfolio, for example. In such a case, start by defining which sector or market it is in the node of the given strategies. How you name the sector is up to you. For example, you can use numbers. Finally, you choose the value max allowed strategies from the same sector. If I enter a value of two, there will be two strategies from each sector in the portfolio. That's the most common use, but it's obviously variable. Exactly what the sector will represent is up to you. Adding notes can be done in two ways. Simply click in the row and type, or if you have multiple strategies from one market in the list, check them off, then select Tools and set Node. For example, I call the sector Sector 1. And as you can see, the node has been written to all the selected ones. The next thing we can set up is correlation. Here we have the option to set a correlation by hour, day, week or month of loss, number of closed positions, number of closed trades, number of open positions, number of open trades or profit loss ratio. The key to any well-built portfolio is to have as little correlation between strategies as possible. So set the correlation value preferably to 0.05. This is the value that will ensure that the strategies will complement each other and the correlation between them will be minimal. Next is the data range row. Here it is very simple. The first option is full available where all available data is used to create portfolios. Your second option is to select a specific time range of data to build portfolios on. We generally recommend using the first option, which is all available data. Last, there is the filtering table where we set the values of the parameters that a portfolio must achieve. If the portfolio does not reach the given values, Strategy Quant will discard it. When you have everything set up according to your needs, you simply go to the progress tab and press start. The build will take a while, it all depends on the settings and of course the performance of your computer. I'm going to jump ahead in time and show you what the result might look like. For simplicity, I will choose the first of the portfolios I have created, so please take the results with a grain of salt, I'm sure there might be something better among the results. Double click on it. And in the overview, you can check the overall results of this concrete portfolio. 
then we have list of trades an equity chart where i will stay for a while on this chart you see the whole portfolio but you can display each strategy separately in the left top corner open the data menu and choose which strategy you want to display this is equity chart for the first strategy this one goes for the second one and to see whole portfolio again choose portfolio only and one final tip to make it easier to research the specific portfolio you selected it's a great idea to create another data bank where you can cope the selected portfolio click on new data bank name it I will choose my final portfolio now find the portfolio you want to work with in the results data bank select it and copy it using the button right here or using the keyboard shortcut move to a new data bank in my case my final portfolio and paste the copied portfolio here then mark it again click on the portfolio button and select split strategies this allows you to clearly view not only the portfolio as a whole, but also the individual strategies. Don't forget to hit like and follow our channel.